Welcome back, guys, to another Jan's Hogwarts Legacy Adventure. This is part six, I think. I'm losing track. I've been doing multiple recordings, and um, I have, I'm having the upload kind of like delayed and staggered, so you you guys don't get bombarded with constant videos going on. But I've been I've been playing this thoroughly, and I enjoyed it. Um, this has been a good experience for me too when it comes to recording quality and uh, building habits behind recording because I went back to watch a couple of videos. I come to notice that the motion blur is kind of crappy. So in this video, I adjust it again. Every video, there's something a little different that I've done with the um, with the, either the quality or the way I edit the video or how I render the video or how I upload it. So hopefully um, this video is a little better than the last one because if, if you didn't notice, go back and watch it. You, you can tell there's a little bit of a motion blur that's got going on over there. But anyways, um, usually I do a recap at the beginning of each episode. My, mine's fairly simple. Uh, last episode, uh, Richard um, Jackdar, we tried to find the missing page for the um, Asian book. At the same time, we're trying to clear Anne's name, for, uh, Prisoner of Azkabar, Az Azkaban. And uh, while we were doing all that, actually, I can't remember. Oh, we finally we finally um, saw the 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 old professor. What's his name? Oh my god. He could also see Agent Magic. Well, you know what? We'll just kept, we'll just follow up with it. I think it might it might say in the quest. It says, uh, nope, that's uh. No, it doesn't say in here. But basically, I gotta go. I didn't bring the book with me when I went to um, the Forbidden Forest in the last one. So that being said, I have to actually uh, bring the book back. But apparently, that's not my priority right now because I'm looking at all these quests. It has nothing to do with having to go back. So for the time being, it looks like we're gonna be exploring Hogwarts. We're gonna learn how to acquire and use a focus potion, acquire a Maxima, and. Uh, Adorus potion and use them simultaneously. I didn't know you can do that. And then I'm gonna go to a flying class. I actually can't wait to learn to fly. I want to fly around Hogwarts. Um, so it's gonna be cool. All right, let's 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 uh let's rock it. Actually, I know what I want to do. I want to see what did I put this over here already? Okay, I want to see. I'm sorry. I'm thinking too much about my recording quality that uh, I, I couldn't even focus on the game right now I want to do this right here we're gonna track this quest and we're gonna hope that we have the ingredients and stuff I got talents Ooh, did I level up? oh yeah I did that's another thing this is also new too in the last episode I know you could get talents and whatnot let's do um let's do something in the potion what do you got here crap uh, no I don't use cabbage um hell yeah I'll do that one I gotta get in the habit of using um potion more. Because I don't do that. That's the that's the issue that I'm having. So acquire and use focus potion. Acquire maxima and endurance potion and use it simultaneously. I think I might have to go to Hogsmeade for this. Because I don't have any of these uh ingredients and whatnot. And if I if I do um, I don't even know how to make them yet. So let's go to Hogsmeade and see if we could gather some ingredients. We have tons of money. I haven't bought anything at all since the game started. And um, sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Uh, and uh, maybe we can um, learn how to make them and use the potion more. Like right now, I have this crab stuff going on. But what's this? So the, this is a recipe for what? What's this? Oh, the uh, Adorus. I got to read the bottom. So I need to learn how to do Maxima Potion. Need to learn and Potion. See, these two potions right here I need to learn. Which, purchase a recipe from J. Pippin Potion. Yep, so I I, I picked the right place. J. Pippin Potion. J. Pippin. Healing Pippen. potions are a speciality here, should you need any. All right, so recipe for the Focus Potion, which I need. A wise decision. Thank you. And Maxima. Visibility Potion. Hmm. hmm. Do I want that? Actually, I do have to sell some stuff. I have way too much crap going on right here. Ooh. I, what? Did I not wear any of this stuff? I hope to see you again. All right. Let's check out my gear real quick, guys. My gear says, "Do I have the best of the best here?" Yes, I do. I'm gonna sell these two now. 
How about this? Oh, this is the better one? Okay, I'll wear that now. That's actually not a bad looking thing, but I'm not gonna... I, I don't like wearing glasses, so... And... So, okay, so... Even though this has better defense, this right here... Trait slot level 2. I don't... No trait applied. So how do I add a trait to it? Anybody know how to do that? It's probably something I'll learn later. But I'm gonna... You know what? I'll keep that for the time being. The scarf. Just sell whatever I'm not wearing. This is a cool robe. This is the best robe I have on. And... Yeah, this is the best outfit I have on, too. Yep, yep. That is, that is it. So I'm going to sell as much as I can. If we come across a Merlin challenge, we're going to do it because it, it increased inventory space. That's what we learned from the last episode. At least that's what I've learned. And uh, that being said, it'd be... Oh, actually, you know what? Shoot. I didn't pay attention. I have collections. No, not challenges. Challenges. That I have to follow up with. Did I do any of it? No, I didn't. There's so many things you can do in this game. I'm, I'm so like... So like, oh my gosh, I gotta go through all this stuff. First of all... Let's go to gear. And I'm gonna change this. I don't... I wanna go back to my Hufflepuff look. Cause that's, that's my jam, man. That's, that's just... That's... That's what I'm I gotta represent, yo. There we go. What can right. I do for you today? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell a bunch of stuff, guy. So I hope you're cool with that. I'm gonna sell that. Very good. Just sell them all, to be keep honest. My stocks replenished. There you go. I'm over four grand. Galleons. I'm mad rich, yo. Alright, let's see what else we got going on here. Ooh, can I just buy them? It seems like I can just buy them, right? <laughs> I might as well just buy some. I don't even really have to make it. Oh, I I did say that I wanted more uh a wise decision. Thank you. More uh health potion because my fighting skills are terrible. Let's do this. I'm just gonna buy it to be honest. I'm I'm cheeky about it. They were like, yeah, yeah, you just make your own. But you know what? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Acquire and use focus potion. Okay, so I gotta use a focus potion. So what? When do I... Gotta use it now. Which one's the focus one? Alright. Okay, now what does it do? Acquire maximum... What does that do? Ooh, that's badass. How long does it last? That lasts a good amount, actually. Uh, I know I'm wasting uh, potions right now, and I should be using it. So, so this right here, Adorus potion and Maxima potion. Apparently, I have the greens to craft them. So, Mongol fur. I can actually craft another one too. So I have any Mongol fur though. So let's get that. Yeah. Excellent. All right. So what? The, so I got them all. That's pretty dope. So if I if I like, well the game. Oh, the game will pause for me. Give me time to take the potions. Okay. Let's buy some Mongol fur. We'll make our own. <laughs> we have everything a young student. I just like. When it comes to I potions. just like blew through like two grand worth of potions. <laughs> Whatever. We have not. Here you go. A wise decision. Thank you. All right, I want to buy two of them because I think there was two ingredients that I had going I hope on. Hope to see you again. The focus. No, oh, I got one. I need eggs. Focus potions is what I, I I want right here. I feel like I need to go flux flux weed stem and dug bog tongue. What can I do for you today? Uh, here you go. Get one though. A wise decision. 
Thank you. Oh, no. I don't have it. Is there more focus in here? Yeah, focus, right? Dude, focus is dope. I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna stick with that. I wanna just start casting spells like a I maniac. Hope to see you again. Prior well to a fight. Now. Okay. So we got all that stuff. We got all the potion. Now we need to go to flying class. No, we don't. Uh let's do let's go to Professor Sharp's class. Cause I wanna do that side mission. These two, if I come across it, I come across it, but this is uh it's like a a supporting side mission. It will help me with my quest later on. And I, I have a feeling that whatever skills I acquire from Professor Sharp will definitely uh, be beneficial uh, for my journey. So Sharp, I think it's this one right here. Yep. Here you go. Let's go. Yeah, I, th I, think, I think it's best for me to try to gain all the spells and whatnot as I can. There was, once I level up, I'm going to create another, um, uh, what is it, a uh, palette of spells. So that you can switch between, because right now in the bottom right, I only have four sets of spell. But if I want to switch, I, I could use a uh, my scroll button, but that's that Back requires me to... Get a um, use one of my skills. All right, press to advance the days. Okay. All right, so I got to advance to daytime. Yes, daytime. Let's go. All right, now it's class time. Let's go, potion class. All right, what are we learning today? What is that? What are you showing us, Professor? Okay. <laughs> Yo. All right. That was. Rebellio. Talk to this guy. That was an interesting class. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. Well, for certain, you'd have helped. Nah, I'm glad I didn't get involved. I'm glad I avoided trouble. Sharp certainly seemed upset with you. His bark's worse than his bite. I think deep down he respects my artistic spirit. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. <laughs> Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Alright. Well, I gotta talk to Sharp anyways. Ooh, what's in there? Well, this way I can make my own potions. Okay. So, I want to focus potion. There you go. It takes a minute to make it, which is not bad. Can I come back? I'll come back for it. Alright, I'll come back for you. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn the pulso. The Let's the pulso. See what you can do. The pulso. What the fuck's the pulso? Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. Pulso, the pulso. What the hell does the pulso do? You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps not flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a deal with enchanted books here. Oh, you purposely put enchanted books here so that I can, uh, so I can practice with it. Uh, pick up. There you go. That's awesome. What else can we make? Uh, increase the drinking spell damage for a limit. Oh, that's damage. Oh, I'll take that. I'll make one of those too. Do that, and let me uh, work on this. So what is it? It pushes back. Oh, it knocks him the fuck back. That's awesome. Um, let's try that. All right, ready. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem strongly determined. Clearly the cooldown is not gonna be like that because I'm at Hogwarts. That's that's the way to go. What is uh what's this focus spell? 
Yeah, focus spell. I'm gonna have that ready. Okay, that's cool. That, that, that's cool. It's not like disarming. I like the disarming. Especially with, uh... What was it? When we were fighting those knights, disarming the big guys was, which came in handy. Again, I got I got to readjust all my skills and get in the habit of switching around. We're going to flying class. Pretty excited. We're gonna fly. We're gonna fly. All right. Actually, I don't know why I keep doing that. I do got a fast travel, anyways. Let's go over here. Flying is yeah, it's right there. Easy. Yeah, I got um. Yeah, I got it. I'd be more a little, a little more fluent. I think I'm getting used to the the original four or five spells that you I've learned. Need to learn the pulso, the banishing charm, useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. I did. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Everybody, Ooh. grab a broom and we shall get started. Yes, let's go. Do everybody, Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo. Not a fan, I take it? Boo. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Nice, come on, let's go. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up, up. <laughs> One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Let's come on, man. Get on. I want to start flying. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Oh boy. Good. All now, right. for Ascend, your first descend. lesson. Fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in own. one piece. <laughs> this will take some getting used to. There it is. What does Q do? Oh. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, <laughs> let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay. Show me the way. So ascend, descend. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh, so that's how. I... What a view! <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Nice day for a flight. It is. Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Yeah, I know, right? This is actually pretty difficult because of my key bindings. Like... Do I accelerate? Oh, a toggle acceleration. I don't have to hold on to it. That's even better. I was gonna say, I was like, oh, that's gonna be difficult if I have to t um, hold on Whoa. to this Our aquatic boost. resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Oh. Oh. That's cool. Alright. Simple. Nothing crazy. Too bad we can't play Quidditch. Aha! Brilliant! Brilliant! Yeah, this is it's quite simple. It's not, nothing well crazy. Done. Have a moment. Ooh, 
little bit of lag. A little bit of lag right there. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well what, enough. What, race, bro? I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? Hmm. Won't we get in trouble? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. Oh, shit. I'm gonna follow this clown. The tour is about to begin. Where is it? Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely, is it? Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. <laughs> we're gonna get in trouble. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? We're definitely gonna get in trouble. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit <clears throat> claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quickly? Because he has a Nimbus 5 million. Today. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Lean Helpful forward. if you need to escape a tricky situation. Uh, so speed burst. <laughs> now that's more like oh, it. Okay. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. This is and beautiful. Look at the game. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. We're gonna get in trouble. We're so gonna get in trouble. The hell's that noise? That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Ooh, I, I had a little uh, frame rate drops. And hand in our brooms. Dismount here. How do you dismount? Okay, go here and then what? Okay. That's how you do it. And where have you two been? Ah, shit. You got me in trouble. Eric oh, Clapton. Hello, Professor. Everett. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. This is the first time I lost points in this game for my house. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. I literally said I didn't want to get in trouble, and for some reason, but but like that was some rather good flying. It automatically made me do it, so it's not like it's not like I had a choice. Well, I had a choice, but it still made me do it. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. Yeah. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. Uh, I wish I didn't have gotten in trouble. Damn right. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble, and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. Yes. He's always looking to test new models. I'll yeah. keep an eye out for you in the sky. Thanks, fam. Oh, yeah, complete main quest. Level up, let's go. I bet you I'm gonna get some kind of prompt for a main mission. It, it usually happens that way. Watch, any second now. No? Alright. I'm definitely gonna go get a broom. So, our quest right now, we have two. Again, I'm not entirely concerned about doing any of this stuff right now. But what I'm gonna do, we're gonna go to Hogsmeade and we're gonna get us up a broom because. Cause I'm mad rich and I should uh well <laughs> I wanna say rich. But I have some money, maybe ho I'm hoping like a nimbus or something. <laughs> it's not like more than four grand galleons. Although I did spend a lot of money on um 
potions. Need, here I come. So, see, I knew it. Sebastian Asalo. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. I knew it. I knew it. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery okay. and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Rebellion. Please oh meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Oh my gosh, I just got so many missions. I just like picked up a ton of mission all of them. Where's this treasure chest? I see it on the on the map, but I don't know where it is. Alright, um I'm here because what why why am I here? Oh, to get a broom. Oh. Okay, so it's right there. I gotta go talk to Pippin. A lot of uh side quests. These are just side quests. Flight test, purchase a okay. Perfect. Right here. Nothing warms the body like my frames are kind of dropping a little bit. I'm actually kind of shocked. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. What's up? Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Yes. Got a few rare you weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Hmm. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spent witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. All right. Uh, well, can you share about the broom? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the you ones darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Hmm. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Sorry, guys. I have, um... A heads up display of explain me um the uh, the frames and it looks like my frames are dropping like crazy oh these rooms aren't expensive they're 600 bucks yeah i don't know why my frames are dropping i don't know why anything's going wrong my computer's being weird man well actually i did change the settings so sorry i'm eating like candy and it's actually hurting my tongue the perfect broom for a uh, fiery uh, temperament. Um, celebrate particular Hogwarts house pride. And the broom for the stability. Quite literally. Well, quite woven design. Ooh. That item is of the highest quality. <laughs> this has pockets in it. Built for stability. Hmm. That item is of the highest quality. That is pretty cool, though. Does it matter? I mean, like, this one says it's a speedy broom with a... That a item is of the highest quality. I just... You know what? I'll go for speed. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I yeah. promise you. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, anything I can sell? Nothing. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! 
I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Um... How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do, oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Yeah, I, 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 I could definitely see it in my recording that the frames are dropping. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Hmm. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Okay. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Revelio. Hmm. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. All right, so I picked that up as a mission, but ideally, right now, I wanna, I wanna go talk to uh, Pippin. Pippin is this way. He's Big Pitman for sure. Oh, yeah, I think he's over here. What you did. If. Ooh. Hand, hand the hell? Hand them back. Hand what back, sir? But we've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, <laughs> I swear. How many times <laughs> are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, we sir. Promise, sir. We'd never take more than those. <laughs> this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. Let's talk to Pippin. Well, Let's see what he needs from us. Do you let me know if I can be of any assistance at all? You let me know what you need. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You say you need to carry a delivery. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with a delivery. Yes. Yes, I do. Big a Pippin. capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. Okay. And what do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. All right. Yeah. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. 
She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Whoa. Are you actually talking about potion recipes? Rebellion. <laughs> All right, so what's in here? All right, I'm actually gonna do. I'd rather deliver the potion. I want. I want to work on my flight. That one. Oh wow! Have I been there? Oh, I've been there. I haven't been there. That's new. That's new for me. You know what? Let's go exploring, guys. Hmm. Tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Okay, so I got, I'm in a no-fly zone. I'm gonna try to get out of it. There you go. Uh, then press what? Oh no! Tab is potion, dude. I'm supposed to hold on to it. He said, press it. Oh, what a jerk. Man, I just drank a potion. So lame. All right, so I just do this. Fly up, and then you just go. That's so lame. I can't believe it. What's, what can you do? She just tells me. Okay. Yeah, I use a potion. I brewed that potion and I used it. I want to use that like during battle and shit, but man, what happened when you don't read the instruction? Well, I did it. It said press tab, so I'm not sure if it said hold on to tab because if that was the case, then I definitely missed it. And that my fault, but if it says press tab, I did press tab. What a jerk. What a great jerk. Man, this flying. I, I'm just gonna edit this part out, guys. <laughs> Alright. Look, I made it into town. Let's see what's going on here. It's pretty cool. I don't know which time we're at. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Yeah, me either. I'm supposed well, to give that to her. But I'm gonna try to get this uh, fast travel real quick before um, Handy Keen Bridge. I'm gonna try when I see one. A what that pigeon should have been here by now. I'm here. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Um, why did you buy them then? Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. All right, here's the potion. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. What? You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. What? Take it. Uh... Do you, do you think Pippin? <sighs> I mean, he is at Hogsmeade, so... He's established himself. You know, I'll do it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Watch. If it fucks me up, man. I'm going to be pissed. Drink an invisibility potion. Okay, hi. Right. Where is it? It's one of those training missions again. Why? Ha! Aha! What now? It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well... I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Mm. <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. Again. Sorry. The rest of us had to make our own way. 
I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. He mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. Oh. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. The Ashwinders, those mother truckers. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. Uh, messy your wares. What do you have for sale? What May are we I looking see? for today? Let's see what you got, though. You got that seed thingy that I was looking for? Potion? Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll take these. A fine choice. Always exactly gonna buy those. What I would have chosen. I know. She agrees that my fighting in. skills is shit. But now I got nine, which is good. All right, so... Revelio. Do we want to explore this a little bit? I'll say... Oh, we'll just travel. Oh, that's a Merlin. <gasps> here you go, here you go, here you go. I, I know what that means. Merlin trial. All right, so you put one of those things in the middle. And then you got to figure out what the fuck to do. All right. Now what do I do? Okay. She said that all Merlin trials are different. Who lives here? Who lives where? On the bridge? It says all Merlin trials are different, so what am I supposed to do here? Leviosa! Akio! Depulsa! Incendio! What? Hmm. Merlin Trials. How do I activate it? Alright. Nah. Merlin. You definitely got me confused. I really do want to expand my inventory. Because I found myself, like, really, um... Looking for space for crap. Rebellion. Oh, actually, rebellion with my help. There you go. Ooh, what's over here? Ginger root. But that's not what I'm looking for. I want to look at the Merlin, uh, Merlin trial. It's definitely something. I thought I put the thing in the middle. So now, now what? Am I supposed to? I'm kind of confused what I'm supposed to do right now. To further, uh, figure this. You know what? I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. Nope. I'm just gonna move on to the next mission. Let's see what we got. Oh wow, we got a lot. So we got Turn to Perry Pippin. Uh speak with Amelia and the Quidditch pitch. I'll do that in a bit. So we will do that one. We're gonna go back to Hogsmeat and talk to our boy Big Pippin. J Pippin, the big Pippin. I noticed that uh, today's gameplay, a lot of my frames are going crap. Um, I do have other uh, software open in the background. I didn't think it's going to be that strenuous, but I guess it's really affecting Does gameplay right now. Not gameplay, but the recording. Hmm. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Did you just call me Harry? I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Yep. Uh, it was no problem. Nothing to worry. Actually, it about. wasn't. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. All right. I like an additional fee. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not stingy though. I'm glad. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Ha 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 ha! Mission complete. Ooh, I got a hat. Come on. That's no better. What about the hat? What hat? Hmm. I thought I had a hat. Never mind then. All right, so we're gonna go to the Quidditch field. Is that Quidditch right here? Oh, Bandit Camp. 
I cleared it out so he puts a check mark on it. I do like that. You know what? There was a bunch of bit. What does. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There was another camp right here. Yeah, yeah. Up here somewhere. Yeah, these two camps. I mean, I guess I could go duke them out, but that's not our, our focus here. Our focus right now is to do a flight test. So. We got to go here. I literally got to fly it all the way over there. All right. I'm just going to fast travel. Well, not fast travel, but cut the scene for you guys. So you guys don't have to watch this. Especially with the terrible frame rate that's going on. On my end. <laughs> all right. Look, look like we're getting here. The, the Quidditch Arena. What's going on here? Hey, you. Hufflepuff. What's up, fam? Meldia, I'm, I'm, what's this? What's this? That's a time trial? Okay. What's up? Melda Rays? Melda. Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. <laughs> uh, you sound jealous. That's not what happened. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps Whoa. I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Uh, what sort of course are these? Can you, you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. The name's Jan. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. <laughs> I probably will, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. What am I supposed to do? To collect the rings? This is rather fun. Excellent. Okay, so you get that. Oh, oh shit. I don't know. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. I totally miss everything. Oh, this is not easy, guys. Oh, and my frame is dropping. Oh boy, this is not good. Can I restart? Oh boy. Could have done better. Three second penalty. I'm just gonna I'm gonna purposely lose. Because I oh my gosh. I wasn't I wasn't really trying to race. Like I didn't know why Oh goodness, this is actually really hard. Oh you know why? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm 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 gonna do this for the mere reason because I'm a dumbass. Give me a second. Flying. See, so. My issue that I'm I'm having right now is the fact that I keep pressing. See, see, space is to fly up. So I need to do this and to change that to uh, boost. And take off. Uh oh. Let's take off. Let's take off. Here we go. I'm going to say three. All right, let's try it again. Here we go. That's a little better. Success. 
Oh, that's a little more fluent for me. Oh, my one. It's definitely more fluent than uh than what I was doing before. So. Oh, no more. So what am I supposed to do? Just dip down. I will say, man, mouse controller, mouse and keyboard flying, not as feasible. How many rings am I supposed to collect, by the way? Nope, miss all those. This is all fun. Yeah, I definitely miss. Good. I've got this. Oh yeah, that was bad. That was that was absolutely horrible. I had to change my controller mid-flight. But yeah, it was um, a little getting used to. I I couldn't really. I didn't really uh, comprehend. Uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Uh, I won. Fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, oh you're my not goodness. Terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. What do you want me to do? Challenge accepted. Then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Um, yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> There's one thing about open world games that I do not like is racing games. Like Grand Theft Auto, don't like racing games. Uh, the Witcher, they had a. I suspect don't, Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear. Don't how like I any fared. of those. I really, I, I truly just don't have any um, interest into uh, racing. And right there, I can't believe I won because I totally uh, butchered everything. I had to change my control mid-flight. Um, definitely gonna be. I feel like it's more feasible with the controller to fly with the broom. Uh, for me, you have to use the mouse up and down. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I, I, I had to change the uh, what is it? The, the ascending and descending a little bit because I kept pressing oh, the wrong back. thing. We've something to report, I hope. Yeah, yeah, fam. Uh, Mr. Week, uh, I was able to set the record. Okay, Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me. How was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Uh, who has doubted you? Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. All right. Can't wait to hear more. I'm Goodbye. excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address... All right. So we got our flights. We got our broom. That's nice. Yes, it is a side mission. Wait, wait, wait. I still gotta do that again? No, I ain't doing that again. Fuck that. I don't wanna do another race. 
So sharp requires me to acquire and use a thunder brew potion against the enemy. Thunder brew potion against the enemy. You know what? I'm all about that. The room of requirements. What's this? Uh, yeah. You know what? Let's do this this potion first, cause I want to get another spell. This it relates so I need thunder brew. Let's go to Big Pippin. Wherever he's at. Oh, it's just completed. That's nice. And I leveled up. Yes. No. Maybe so. What up, big? Everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Can I make thunder brew recipe? This is a thunder brew recipe. Uh. Oh, you know wise what? decision. I'll, Thank I'll, you. I'll buy it and see if I can craft it myself. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. See what it looks like. Thunder brew. I need uh, some kind of fruit. What can I do for you today? Is that a boogie? Like, like is it boogers? <laughs> oh, I guess I just gotta buy thunder brew because oh no, it's expensive. What's that fruit call? When can I get that fruit? That's super expensive, man. I don't know if I want to do that. All right. Well, look, look like we're gonna to skip skip this side mission because it's too expensive. Thunder brew, dude. Uh, Travelic, Travel fig food fruit. Wow, I can't say that. Yeah, definitely not gonna do that. Uh, maybe I can grow my own. Probably not. I'll keep this on on lock for now, and we're gonna just do another mission because there's no way I'm gonna spend that much money on on having to uh, get that spell. So let's uh, the room of requirement reward. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do this. Astronomy tower? No. Charm class. Professor Weasley is right there. How how do I get to what like what's the closest? Uh oh. What did I just click? What did I just click? I didn't click anything. Uh, you know what? Whatever. We'll walk to her. Where is she? No, I don't want to do that one. When the professor. Professor. All right, Professor, where you at? This way? Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, my frames are being kind of shitty today. It, about this? Like, what we, we've been in Hoggles before, but my frames are like under 40. Quite interesting. Although I will say I haven't, I haven't shot off my uh, PC in like a week. So that might be an issue. Look at that, it just hiccup. Hate it. Sorry, guys. Are you going to hear me complain a lot about my uh, computer and my uh, the quality of my videos? Because I do spend a lot of time on hardware-wise getting them ready. So if I don't know how to tune it correctly, that's be an issue. So what what am I doing Professor here? Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Rebellio. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. It's so laggy. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. You know what? After after this portion or whatever we're doing with Professor Weasley, we're, we're going to end the recording so I can figure this out. I hate it. I hate it for this reason. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. 
I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Hmm. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. I got this, Professor. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Alright, cool. I got a new spell. I'm cool with that. I fuck with that. Alright, let's go. You ready for this? You ready for this? Uh, I'm not really good at this. I'm not really good at this. I'm not really good at this. I'm very good at this. <laughs> right. Splendid. Let's put it right here. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. Evanesco. Excellent work. <laughs> You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. It sounds like Evanescence. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Yeah, where is it? It's a cool room, though. Big ass is room. That... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Ooh, what we got here? I waited for you for ages. Perhaps you assigned a few more inches of parchment than you expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. A the T. Ooh. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh, shit. That scared the poor down. Some of us are trying to rest. Oh. You keep it down. You scared the poop out of me. Just, you know, mind my own business, guys. Akio. What's under here? Come on, it's gotta be something under here. Oh, I'm in possession of it. That's pretty cool. That's good to know. And I can use it to climb. Ah, I see. Rebellion. Right. Okay. How do I get up there? Akio. Like, would this allow me to climb? Okay, okay, okay. We got this, we got this. Levioso. Yes. Yes! Boy genius, Jan. What we got here? Crap. What? Oh. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Hmm. Are you really going to fight me? That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Oh, I, I was going to say, you really want to duel, bro? Rebellion. Hmm. Bit offended the room thought I needed a bad cheeky thing. All right. Bit offended. I'm just like touching everything. I don't want to miss out. Rebellion. I don't want to miss a thing. <clears throat> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Like you are. You just crawl around, right? Yes. Ooh, a harp. I'm collecting moonstone like crazy. That's awesome. What was that? Is that Quidditch? What is that? Was that a golden snitch? Oh, golden snitch. 
Akio, perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> <laughs> you. Rebellion. Ooh, how'd I get in there? Akio. All right, under here maybe? Yes, yes, yes. Rebellion. Uh, how do I get in there? Uh, okay. You know what? Let's pull this back. What? Let me show. Am I doing this right? Hold on, hold on. I gotta get over there somehow. Rebellion. All right. Uh. Akio. How do I drop it? How do I drop it? Akio. Oh boy. <laughs> no. Oh. Watch. Watch this. I think I figured this out. Ready? Let's try Levioso. Akio. We're gonna we're gonna pull this closer this way. Come on, this way. And then get that closer. Oh boy. Good, perfect. And then we're gonna Levioso. There you go. Perfect. Not. Oh my goodness. Did you get you get what I'm saying? Oh, it drops by itself. Okay. Uh, let's push this back then. Oh, okay. Boop. Sorry guys, it's taking a minute for me to figure this out. But that's why you guys are here. Can I jump over now? No. Oh, okay. So. How do I get? Damn it! Let's go this way. Let's see if I can. Uh... There you go. Let me show. All right. Then you go back over here, and you're gonna pull it towards you. Oh my god. Okay, you gotta pull it towards you. Here. All right. Then you drop it. Oh, it's flipped. Oh boy. Okay, so see right it's kinda like right under it. Depulsa. Oh, it's supposed to land on top. Gosh. Alright, you know what? You need to Akio. Let me move out of the way real quick. Let me let me work with this. I'm sorry guys. I am definitely special. On this. Alright, let's try this again. Levioso. We got Levioso. Then you're trying to pull it and try to line up. It's actually hard to line it up directly on this. All right, let's go. Akio. See? All right, let's straighten out. All right, go to the right a little bit, maybe. Left. Left a little bit. Oh, where the fuck did it just go? Here you go. Uh, let's grab the bottom one. Move it this way a little bit, maybe. Maybe this way? Oh boy, it's so hard to line up. It really is. Let's go. Oh my gosh. We're gonna spend more time trying to solve this because I really want loot. Here you go. Because I want loot. This is how determined I am. Oh, that's not bad. Let's let me also do this guy again. Let's focus on the bottom one. Akio. Bottom one. The bottom one. Oh, the bottom one. Bottom. Highlight it. Here you go.
Alright, you know what? This is the best I can do. Let's try this. Son of a bitch. Alright, just give me a second, guys. I'm gonna cut this scene. Let No way. I could have done it that way the whole time. I made that way too difficult. I made that way too difficult. <laughs> Overthinking everything, guys. Ah, screw this. Let's keep going. Oh my goodness. That was so bad. Rebellion. We hope that I, house elf can find us in here. I, I spent way too much time trying to figure that out. But what's going on here? Mad sus. What's going on? Oh, there he is. I found you. Yikes! Careful, huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. You better. Uh, 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 hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Room of requirements. That's interesting. Oh boy. yourself quite a canvas to work with that's pretty cool so i can I look forward to seeing what you do with the space ah and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description excellent 
It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desert description. Use to reveal magical property of any unidentified gear that you have collected. Oh, I didn't know you, there was stuff like that. Is, that, is there a, like a RNG in this game for items? Alright, let's try it. No gear to identify. to identify. For now, at least. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Oh, shit. Uh... Oh, is that my eye? Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. So this is basically my home base. That's that's nice. So how wait. So where's the conjuring? Uh what is this? Okay, uh, oh, this right here? Is that conjuring? Oh, yeah, it is conjuring. Let's go. Oh, okay, so items to group potions, items for apology, utility, statue, decoration. Okay. All right. Oh, I got potion station budget. Zero, one conjure. Okay. So I could pick whatever one of these. I'm gonna pick the Hufflepuff one. So I can put it anywhere I want. Oh, that's so neat. It's like, it's like we have the Sims now. <laughs> I wanna put it, can I rotate it? How do you rotate it? Oh my gosh. This is a neat, let's put it right there. I like it. Can I change the color? I can change the color. I mean, I only need one. Ah, eh, Hufflepuff color is good enough. So, uh, what, what, uh... What else do I need to conjure? Herbology? Let's do that one again. Uh... Rotate? 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 Did that fit there? That... Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. You know what? I need to go back to um, Deke will be here to answer class. any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Uh, I'd like to know more about Deke. Uh, can I use transfiguration magic anywhere? Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. Uh, We've uh, charms in place to enforce that. Uh, it would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. 
I want, I like to know more about Deke. He's your homie, right? A bit more about Deke. He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. All right. Thank you, Professor. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Cool. So the frames are good right now. Okay, so this is how I get back in here. Okay, blue frame. But where did this lead? Astronomy tower. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Oh my goodness. Is this backwards? It is backwards. So how do I... No, uh... Should I just vanish it? Hold on, hold on. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Should I just vanish it? Uh, let's do that. Hey, yeah, I mean... It don't cost me that much. Uh... Gothic Potion Station. There you go, that looks cool. That's that's cool. How did I change the color again? How's that? Wait. I can change the color. No? I want to put it right here. Put it like like about there. But I want to change the color. I thought I could change the color. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah, there you go. Boom. I like it. I don't need another one. What else what else can we make here? Enhanced item to be used in the room of enchanted item. Enchant items. Okay, yeah, let's go. I'm just decorating now. I feel like <laughs> you guys are like, oh no, I already, I already have that. All right. Wall hanging, rugs, furniture, decoration, artwork, seating, table, statue. Honestly, these two are probably the most important thing. At least I could like make potions. Windows, Maximus. I need focus. Bunch of stuff that I can't. That's good to know. Maybe I could like brew a bunch of stuff at the same time. All right, so I just speak with her when I'm done. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Oh. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. Okay. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Oh boy. Well, how much do I need? How much do I need? All right. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Okay. I was going to end the recording, then we may but begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? What? No, 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 no. That's just that's just boring. All right. Well, let's put a put wall painting. Let's uh. Uh, think of something. Yeah, that works. That works. Let's, how do I? Re I can size them. All right, my dude's gonna be the whole entire wall. All right, what else do I need? Get a rug, I guess. Gothic rug. Change the color. 
And then we're going to change the size. Boom. Alright. Am I done, Professor? Oh, I got to conjure. My objective is conjure. Oh, wall decoration. Oh, this is ridiculous. Uh, floor decoration. What kind, of, what, what kind of objective is this crap? I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not here to really, like, decorate. Let's put some couches. There you go. Oh, a couple, couple of those. Put them right, like, right here, maybe. One right here, maybe. Okay, and then... Plus, uh... I don't know. Let's put a little table. I'm not really putting much effort into this, guys. Oh, there's not enough space. Hold on, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Akio. Nope, not Akio. Let's uh, make shit. Sure oh, it actually counts. It. Here you go. I gotta remove all that shit. Oh, uh oh. What did I just do? Oh, I got paintings in this room already. Ridiculous. Let's put a. Put a. Sure. Boom. Alright, now I need wall decoration. Uh, let's put a bunch of paintings, to be honest. Boom. 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 Alright. Shall we move on? I honestly think this is a very see again one of these tedious missions. I just think it's ridiculous. I conjured ridiculous. everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. Okay. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Oh, oh, it's actually a new spell. Okay, okay, okay. I got you, I got you. What does it, what would this do? Altering Just spell. Aim your wand at any conjured item. Uh the altering spell. Okay. Change the color of an item, adjust the size of an item. All right. All right let's go with that. I'm gonna change that. Change the color of my item. How about you? Uh. All right. Good. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. I appreciate you guys sticking around for this. This is, this is the I hate these missions. Versus fly is not this. I don't really, I don't really enjoy. Ooh, that got like a Slytherin look to it. Uh, let's. Boom. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. What are you Professor doing, Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. I like gothic stuff. And I'll, uh, we're doing yellow, of course. So we Hufflepuff. All right, I'll talk to Deke. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? No. Uh, cool moonlight lampies. I like something natural, earthy. I focus better on dark and mysterious. Ooh, I do like dark and mysterious. Um. Dark and mysterious. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. 
As if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded mm. by shadows. Shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Why you just to change it for me, or can I change it myself? There you go. Doesn't hurt my eyes, you know. <laughs> mm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Okay, Deke. Now someone. you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Do I have more room? This is like more room for me to decorate. <laughs> Gosh, I legit have a house. No, really? An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Mission complete. There you go. Um, I will say that I am not going to record anything that I decorate into this room. I do like, uh, I do like to give you this option, trying to make it more homely for yourself but overall this is boring you don't want to watch somebody just decorate their room this is something i would do on live stream i wouldn't do this necessarily on youtube which i haven't live streamed in a long time anyway so it don't matter i'm gonna end it here i'm gonna start i'm gonna adjust my settings just a tad bit i, I i've been dropping frame rates you see but I, you know what? Nothing has changed when it comes to the game quality. The only thing that changed was the recording, but I actually toned it down. So I'm surprised that I'm having encoding issues, even though I toned it down a little bit. But uh, overall, I'm just, I think I'm just going to uh, end the recording here for part six. And um, hopefully what I mentioned earlier in the episode that I figured out the whole motion, motion blur quality of the video. Again, this is all trial and error for me. This is, I picked a really good series to do so because every video is going to be slightly altered to uh, my liking, I guess, until I am happy with the quality and the result of the video. I'm sure many of you may not notice any difference, but I do. I, I, I nitpick on small little things. And as I mentioned before, I am a perfectionist, so it's going to bother me until I figure it out. But anyways, Thank you guys for showing up. I uh, appreciate you joining me on this adventure. And um, this I feel like this episode was kind of boring. Um, but we got some new spells. We got a broom. We can fly around. It's all right. This, but I want some more action. I want to get into the fight. So let's, let's focus on um, the main mission on the next one. And I'll catch you guys there.